Good evening, class, and uh, good evening, friends. Thank you for tuning in to Monday Night with Sir JB. And uh, here's your teacher again, Sir JB. And I'm happy that you are joining me for tonight's uh, show. And uh, this week, our lesson will be focusing more on the birth of Jesus Christ. And uh, last Friday and earlier, you have learned more about the uh, religious and the social political background of the birth of Jesus Christ. That's why later on, we'll have a reaction video of the Nativity story. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our night today. And uh, we'll begin with the first part of our program, which is a uh, song number by, with me and my friends. So we sang the song, uh, I Shall Not Be Moved. So no matter uh, what circumstance you are going in right now, kahit na maraming problema, maraming mga pinag, tayong pinagdadaanan dahil sa pandemic, uh, still, uh, let our faith be strong in the Lord. So, thank you very much. By the way, congratulations to uh, last year's, uh, last week's winners of our uh, of our promo. And uh, actually, I'll be announcing the winners tonight, later, and before the end of the show. And you will be receiving, uh, the three of you will receive 100 pesos load. So, uh, for now, let's watch this uh, song number to be given by me and my friends. So just enjoy. Thank you. Jesus is my Savior, I shall not be moved. In His love and favor, I shall not be moved. It's like a tree started by the water. For God shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. you liked it and I hope that uh, the meaning of the song is uh, meaningful to you that at this time of pandemic all we need to do is to hold on to our faith in God no matter what so this time let's proceed to the reaction video of the short clip about the birth of Christ 
Hello guys, welcome back to Break 101. For today's week, for today's vlog, we are gonna react into a video that's called The Christ Child. And guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell down below. And guys, now we're gonna react. I'm Rika. I'm Charity. I'm Jolly. I'm Hannah. I'm Xavier. <laughs> 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 now we are gonna react to a video. Malek. Malek. Oh no. 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 Oh no.
Klarheit.
Swan Lake. این این خوشتا Mariam, Mariam, it's Mariam. Gabriel and Athar and Achia Yeshua. Allah had the Baron. Shalom, Lake. Shalom, Lake.
reaction with the wow. story of Jesus. Amazing. Uh, Amazing. 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 And okay, go ahead. Just fine. They may be silly. They may not be silly. They may 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 be so guys, thank you for watching this reaction video. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel and click the bell. Comment down below if what what do you want to react to. And please follow us on Facebook, CGBC. <laughs> Christian Gospel Baptist Church and subscribe. Bye bye. 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 Oh, so there you have it, the reaction video of uh, our kids. So by the way, uh, the one who is uh, inviting you to like and subscribe my channel is my niece uh, Myrtle, and the rest are our kids in the church. So. Thank you for your participation. Salamat sa inyong uh, reaction video. Anyway, may tatlong bagay akong nanais na ipahiwatig sa inyo ay parating sa inyo ngayong gabi patungkol sa birth ni Jesus. Now, the first thing is, uh, pumunta si Mary at si Joseph uh, mula Nazareth. So they live in Nazareth. Huh? Uh, Doon sila nakatira sa Nazareth. And of course, as we all know, the angel of the Lord uh, told uh, Joseph that Mary will uh, be pregnant na mabubunti si Mary at saka uh, manging ama na siya but of course uh, at first Joseph was hesitant to to accept because he is not a father uh, knowing that uh, Mary is uh, pregnant but later on he realized kung iiwan niya si Mary baka patayin si Mary because walang ama di ba? so he stood as the father of uh, Jesus and uh, later on when Mary got pregnant they needed to go to Bethlehem because at that time, as uh, we have studied in our video earlier, that it was uh, King uh, Herod. No? He's the king at that time. And of course, they are under the Roman Empire. And the uh, emperor at that time is uh, Augustus Caesar. And so Caesar wanted uh, taxes from the people, especially at the time of King Herod. He wanted that the people should pay taxes. So he burdened the people. Pinaghirap niya na talaga yung mga tao na magbayad ng kanila mga buwis. And so, he summoned all people to go into their hometown to register, to have a census. What is the purpose of the census? The purpose is that uh, when you have uh, listed your name, you will be taxed. No? So kung may lista ka na doon, magbabayad ka na ng buwis. So that's the first thing that I would like to tell you. No? The second thing is uh, the shepherds, as you can see in the video, the shepherds uh, have seen a great light. But uh, somehow they have not shown to us that uh, first an angel appeared to them no? and telling them, no, don't be afraid, no? fear not. I bring you good tidings. No? I bring you good news that uh, the Savior is born. And later on, a multitude of angels a host of angels came and of course they, they sang glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill toward men and so these shepherds went and visited Jesus in the manger 
So that is the actual happening that night when Jesus was born, the shepherds came there. No? Yun yung ta- panahon na pumunta doon yung mga shepherds. And the very reason why God allowed the shepherds out of many people, no? bakit hindi yung mga, yung mga mayayaman yung dapat pumunta doon, yung mga teachers of the law or mga religious people, but they chose the low, the lowly to come to Jesus. It tells us na kahit sino ka paman, hindi kailangan mayaman ka o mahirap if you are uh, willing to follow the Lord. The Lord will invite you. Of course, it, it, in this situation, yung mga shepherds, no? so they are the outcasts. Usually, andun na sila sa lapas ng city. Kaya sila natutulog. Imagine, no? And of course, uh, at that time, sabi nila Christmas was around December. But because nakita niyo naman na uh, the situation is uh, they are in the fields. It means na hindi yun malamig. No? So probably Jesus was born around the, not in the summer, in the winter. But rather in summertime. Yun, no? Yun yung second point na uh, kahit sino ka man, pwede kang lumapit sa Panginoon. And finally, third thing is that Jesus, uh, when Jesus was born, of course, uh, there were no wise men yet at that night. As you can see in the video, nung pumunta yung mga wise men doon, hindi na baby yung nakita nila, no? Because uh, in the description, of course, in the shepherds, they saw a babe wrapped in a swaddling clothes. But when we look at the biblical account, when the wise men came, uh, Jesus was, was already a boy. You know? He was about two years old. Uh, because when the wise when Jesus was born, the wise men saw where the star is. No? The star led them to Jesus. But they came from the east. Malayo pa yung binagalingan nila. So they had to travel far until they were able to reach where Jesus was. Of course, they were able to pass through King Herod. And uh, sinabi niya si Herod na, Uh, pupunta kami dito para uh, bisitahin ang hari no? and they are referring to Jesus and so of course at the back of the mind of Herod he was uh, so anxious na sino ba ito no? may papalit sa akin bilang hari as uh, we all know he even killed some of his family members thinking that they, they plotted to to take control of the kingdom kahit anak niya no? pinatay niya it's a sad reality but uh, Uh, at this time, knowing that there's a new king that was born at the back of his mind, he wanted to kill that baby and he asked the wise man, no? he wanted to deceive the wise man, uh, sabihan niyo ako kung nakita niyo siya at pupunta din ako doon para magsimba sa kanya. But uh, of course, uh, when they saw Jesus, uh, the, the angel told them not to return and tell the king. And uh, they go the other way. And yun nga, nung nalaman ni Herod na, na hindi na bumalik yung mga wise men, siya mismo ang nagpahanap. No? Yung mga baby two years old and below ay dapat patayin. So para sure siya, no? kasi baby niya na lalaki, two years old and below. So it was uh, the, the fact that when the wise men came there, Jesus was already a boy. And of course, uh, as we all know, the wise men gave gifts. No? He gave gifts to to Jesus as their present. And uh, these gifts are gold. The first thing is gold. So the gold symbolizes uh, it symbolizes kingship. So ito ng pag hari ng Panginoon. And uh, of course, this is a solid object, gold. You know? But he will be king here on earth. The second one is the frankincense so second one is an incense no? it's like a gas a sweet smelling aroma and this incense symbolizes the deity of Christ the Jesus is God no? siya ay Panginoon siya ay Diyos and the last is the mirror no? so what is a mirror? it is an embalming oil no? kung mamamatay yung pinapukatay nila sa patay no? so para tubig naman ito no? so liquid naman ito para uh, to to give uh, to preserve the body so this symbolizes the death of Jesus Christ and of course other than that it tells us that Jesus is also a man no? so he is 100% God and he is also 100% man so paano ba ito 100% siya no? but of course that's the mystery of Christ so he is God 100% God And he is also 100% man. So those are the meanings of the gold, the 
frankincense and the myrrh. So I hope that you enjoyed the uh, the video. Although medyo uh, kasi yung original niya, walang ano ha, yung language is different. Probably they're speaking the Aramaic language. Uh, walang subtitle. But anyway, by looking at the the gestures, even the faces, the reaction of the characters, you can see that uh, I can really understand what it meant. So last time I had also uh, given an announcement that I'll be giving uh, three persons with a 100 pesos load. And uh, the clue is, uh, all you need, the mechanic is, all you need to do is you just type your friendship story. Unfortunately, only one in the person of um, Lian shared her friendship story. And when I informed her, uh, and asked her number to give her the load, she told me that she wanted to extend the the gift to others who are most deserving. And so I have selected three. Uh, the, the first one is recommended by her and the person of Kits, Alin Sasagin. So congratulations, Kits. You won a 100 pesos load. I hope that you have to help you throughout this week. The second one is uh, Pamela Marie Meteoro. So Pamela. So congratulations, and the last one is uh, Edward J. Sell Aservida. So the three of you uh, uh, wins 100 pesos load. So congratulations, I hope that you will use that load in your online classes. So thank you very much, that's all for tonight. And see you tomorrow on the next uh, video, which is the birth of Jesus Christ. God bless Calimera.